The RFID chip has been the source of controversy for a long time. Is it the mark of the beast? Is it a threat to humanity? Will it be used to track us, to watch us, to follow us? And most importantly, will this little device be mandated by the New World Order? It is very important for you to listen carefully to this entire video. I realize there are various interpretations of Revelation 13, 16 through 17. Some believe the mark is a transhuman process that people go through at the end of the age, while others believe it is a symbol of loyalty to the beast kingdom on Earth. Some suggest it's a graven image placed inside of the human body, and still others believe it to be an RFID implant. You might remember back to 2007, when NBC aired a series about life in 2017. In one spot, Brian Williams references this year as the start of A Brave New World. This is a clear reference to Aldous Huxley's novel. This novel warned us about technology and how it can be used to control society. RFID has gained a strange and rapid popularity over the past decade. And now people are openly chipping themselves and posting videos online about their experiences. Other implantable devices are also being popularized by the mainstream media, now more so than ever. Why have these device implants become so popular? We've seen sources pushing this message for some time now. BuzzFeed, a YouTube channel that knowingly pushes New World Order propaganda, just featured a segment of a man who used an RFID implant to pay for all of his bills. Is it a fakery? Or is there really something about this chip? The RFID chip is exceptionally dangerous. And there is a reason why. It hardwires you to the World Wide Web, the Matrix. RFID chips and other implants can interact with your body and collect data and upload this data to the WWW that was birthed at CERN in 1989. The fact is that program microchips are so advanced in 2016, they can collect massive quantities of information on just about every aspect of your body, including tracking disease progression, tracking blood glucose levels, tracking hormones, etc. Early on, RFID implants were marketed to high-risk populations, such as the elderly, people with dementia, people with diabetes or epilepsy. This was done under a patent called Verichip, which caused a firestorm of speculation that it could be an early test run for the Mark of the Beast. The problem is that many people were so obsessed with Verichip that they completely overlooked a much larger... The RFID chip revolution began around 2002 through 2004, mostly as a concept that had not fully been implemented. Around 2005 through 2008, the chip began to be introduced into the markets. This was around the time when Walmart began cooperating with the Department of Defense in the United States on a massive RFID initiative. Europe has been quicker to adopt RFID into use, and now the chip is a part of everyday life of Europeans. Some Europeans have already received RFID chip implants for ease and accessibility, payment, and security. What I'm about to say might shock you. And I know it to be a fact because of my expertise. The elites have already chipped millions of people while they have slept, when they were put under during surgical procedures and received medical device implants. Did you know that medical technology companies began to secretly implant chips into devices like hip implants, total knee replacements, titanium rods, medical mesh, Pacemakers and defibrillators, prosthetics, and even breast implants now contain small microchips inside of them. There are millions of people on Earth who walk around with these implants. The conspiracy to place microchips into people began back in the first decade of this century. The problem is that everybody was focused on Verichip. What they didn't realize is that chipping began before Verichip was mass marketed roughly around the years 2007 through 2008, the year of Obama's election. Millions of microchips are sitting inside of people's bodies as a part of a medical device. 
Change happens. Change happens because the American The Mark of the Beast. So many people talk about this being biblical, prophetic, and many people realize that it will probably come in the form of an RFID chip. Now, NBC has recently made a statement that has a lot of people wondering, has this been planned already and just not come to fruition? That seems to be the case because as NBC states here, by 2017, all Americans will be tagged with microchips. I want to pause for a second and I want to state that it will take an event between now and 2017 to implement this because people are not just going to willingly take these chips. So something's going to happen between now and 2017 and NBC has just kind of gave a hint to it. Now, it is the mainstream media. You can't trust hardly a word they say, but where are they getting their information is what you need to look into. A lot of people, when they see these documents, these bills, they don't even touch them. They don't read them. It's a bunch of mumbo jumbo. And it takes somebody to come through and take the time to read it and find these things to expose it. What we have here is 100% proof, ladies and gentlemen. You can share this with your friends, your family, around the world. They're going to start here in America. Israel is already attempting to create a cashless society. So somewhere along the lines, an RFID chip can simply be reprogrammed and be picked up by a higher satellite unit that can track it worldwide. As you can see right in front of your face, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration has right here in front of you listed the guidance for industry and FDA staff, a Class II Special Controls Guidance Document, which refers to an implantable radio frequency transponder system for patient identification and health information. Do you see how long ago they put this out? December 10th, 2004. This has been one of the very subtle things that they have been trying to implement. And what it's going to take now is an event. Because why are they saying 2017? Because as you've just seen here, this has been in the works for a long time. Some people still are not going to believe that this is true. So I ask you, come over to page 1014. Take the time. See it for yourself. I will leave links as always. We'll scroll down here, and we'll find 1014. And I want to show you what it states in this bill. And this is what they've already passed, guys. This is what they've already passed underneath of our noses while no one's paying attention. They have passed the mark of the beast. Legally, all they have to do is get it in you, and it's going to have to take an event, in my opinion, to do so. Okay, we see right here the National Medical Device Registry. The Secretary shall establish a National Medical Device Registry to facilitate analysis of post market safety and outcomes data on each device that is used on a patient as a class 3 or a class 2 device that is implantable, life-supporting or life-sustaining. Do you see what they've done? And guess exactly what it's connected to. Not only your wealth and all of your information, but it's connected straight to the Food and Drug Administration, meaning that all of your food, all of your money, anything that you're going to get, is going to be tracked through this. Also, the administration of the centers of Medicare and Medicaid services. Do you see? This has been hidden in this health care, Obamacare bill this whole time. And they have passed all of these smaller bills along the way while no one has been paying attention. Why? Because they've been buried in the middle of these bills. So, let's go down and look at 1501 to 1510. This is HR 39 And when you guys come here, it's going to reset every time you leave the page. Just a heads up. So let's get down here to 1510. And what it says. Is the exact same thing 
that it was stating before. A unique device identification system. The Secretary of Health and Human Services, acting through the Commissioner of Food and Drugs, shall issue proposed regulations to implement Section 519F of the Federal Food, Drug, and Cosmetic Act no later than six months after the date of enactment. Now, it is saying, when you read on here, that a unique device identifier for each covered device referred to in paragraph one. Do you see these unique device identifiers? And this goes on and on here, guys. This is this will take days to read, but that's the thing. That's why they do it this way. This is an urgent warning for everyone out there. Everyone out there that believes that this mark and this tracking system is coming whether you believe it's biblical or not it's in my belief whether you believe in religion or not it should not stop you from believing the fact that this government wants to tag you and track you and it's the truth and it's real and it's right here in front of you this is all the evidence you will ever need to know that it's already implemented all we are waiting for is an event do you hear me all we are waiting for is an event. That's it. All right, this next one's a little creepy. I want to see little, what you guys think. Mm, okay? It isn't, it isn't. <laughs> I heard about she, this. She, okay. Brooke likes this idea, which tells you a lot about Brooke. Listen to this story. Okay, so if you forgot your ticket to a, a game, a soccer game in Argentina, okay. it's not a problem because you can use the microchip that's been embedded under your skin by the Crazy. team. An Argentinian yeah. soccer team planning experimentally to this point to offer supporters a chance to implant a microchip in their skin lets them walk right through like easy pass in your right. car. It's an easy pass. You just walk right into the stadium. But the easy pass is in your car, not in your wrist. That's yeah, correct. But see, I'm not really thinking about it in terms of sports as much as I would love to put one in my kids. <laughs> Just to know where I, they I are. Know, like, I know it's creepy and really futuristic, mm -hmm. but I, my dog has one. Right. And she ran away and ended up, like, so we live downtown, and she ended up, like, in Harlem. Mm -hmm. And they somebody did deliver her to a, a facility, a, a place, and they scanned her, and then they found us. And I honestly am not completely against chipping my children. <laughs> Boy, if you don't get dumbass! A dumbass. No. You propose this to the girls? I, I, I haven't. No, I thought I would do it in their now sleep. They, now they know. I would, I would put it. Just, mom. Uh, yeah. like, mom, what Just was that? Oh, I don't know. Sleep. It's a the <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's something about it. I don't know about the scanning and the, that people are like, oh, it'll help you in the subway. You're going to be programming right. them to eat their vegetables with a button. But it's going to happen, though. Yeah, We're scanning things with our eyes. Yeah. You know, that, uh, you know, we, you, it's not just a thumbprint anymore. It's not just, so I wouldn't right. put it past it being done.